All right, so in this problem, we want to solve the polynomial equation. And in this polynomial equation, we are given coefficients with decimals. And in order to get rid of the decimals, in order to get rid of this 0 0.2, we are going to multiply everything by 5, and it's going to get rid of all of our decimals. All right, so if we multiply everything by 5, we have 5 times 0 0.2, which leaves us with 1. So we have 1 times x squared plus 5 times x, which leaves us with 5x, and 5 times negative 1.2 leaves us with a negative 6. All this equals 0. Now we have a normal polynomial equation, and now in order to factor, we have to find two numbers that multiply to negative 6, and the same two numbers have to add to positive 5. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to list the multiples of 6 in order to see what two numbers multiply to 6, and the same two numbers will be able to add to 5. So we have 1 and 6, and 2 and 3. Now both of these numbers can add up to 5. 2 plus, 2 plus 3 gives us 5, and also 1 and 6 can give us 5 if one of the numbers are negative. And therefore, if we want to get to this negative 6, one of them does have to be negative. And so we're going to choose negative 1 to be the negative number out of the two, because then when we add them, we have negative 1 plus 6, which leaves us with this positive 5, which is what we want. All right, so now that we have our two numbers that we are going to factor, we have x minus 1, and we have x plus 6. These are the two numbers that we chose to multiply to negative 6 and add to positive 5, and all this again equals 0. Now we're going to set both of our parentheses equal to 0, so we have x minus 1 equals 0, and we have x plus 6 equal to 0, and we're going to solve for the value of x. So here we're going to add 1 on both sides, and we have x equals 1, and the second equation is x plus 6 equals 0, and we're going to subtract 6 on both sides, and we have x equals negative 6. So the two values that our x can equal is positive 1 and negative 6, and if we take a look at our answers, this corresponds with answer D. And therefore, D will be our final answer.